Occasionally, you may have made a purchase using your credit card and you have returned something to the store and they have issued a credit card credit. You can either wait to see that in banking if you have your credit card connected. The credit card credit should show up in the received column here. This Amazon received under this MasterCard would be a good example of a credit card credit. In this case, I would click into it and choose Amazon as my payee and then the same category that I would have categorized the transaction expense for Amazon would be the same category I would choose to apply the credit card credit. I'm just going to choose office expenses and add. But perhaps you don't want to wait until you see it in banking. Perhaps you want to go ahead and add it to QuickBooks so that you can be on the lookout for them to add it and for you to see it in banking. So to create a credit card credit, we go to the plus new and choose credit card credit. Here we would choose the payee and which card is getting the credit card credit if you have more than one. And QuickBooks here assumes that the last time we used Amazon it was for office expenses and the last amount we had was $89.99. If that is correct, you can save and close. If your refund is something different than what QuickBooks pre-filled, you will want to pick the correct category here and add the correct amount here and make sure that you add the correct date here. So when we're doing a credit card credit, who are we getting the credit from? which credit card is being credited, on which date, why are we getting the credit card credit, same category as when we did the purchase, any description we want to add, and the amount, and save and close. If you are returning something that you had previously categorized as a product or service, you'll want to click the arrow to get the details for product and service and put the information here instead of in the categories. And that is how we create credit card credits.